Hi, beautiful ladies. How are you? Can't wait to see who's gonna join. Tell me when you're here. Tell me hi. Tell me what you are up to um, today. I can't wait, wait to hear um, what you are doing today on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. Um, I am so ready for spring to come. It's so crazy. I am so ready for the spring to come. And as we are in the entire year of this whole COVID situation, um, you know, I want to come out and really talk in regards to how much it has affected all of us, and we know it has, but in the specific um, way of really longing for um, places to be open and, and, and like things being back to normal. Um, and usually I've been pretty good about, um, you know, finding ways to, um, you know, I wouldn't say supplement cause they wouldn't like, they wouldn't or substitute, right? They wouldn't really substitute the real connection, but I found other ways and I was able to adjust, you know, the gyms were, you know, in the beginning of this whole um, situation, the gyms were closed and I really, really needed that piece to keep my mind straight and like keep me on point. And I was at a loss, like, oh wow, like that's really messing up my whole flow because gym and exercising is putting my mind at, like in a very um, clear kind of like manner and like I know exactly what I'm doing and da 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 you know and so I've I started go doing the running and do, like uh, I've transitioned to doing it outside right but it has affected my dating, like dating life, right? With my husband, um, the we used to have someone where like we used to have someone to drop the kid off in the evening. And um, uh, when this whole thing went down, like we literally did not, we lost that intimate time with each other that we have so preciously uh, nurtured and built together, right? So we have that night where we go out and have dinner and like have a nice evening together afterwards. So, um, you know, the lockdown, not having, um, you know, a, a proper childcare has really, really affected that where where we like stopped going on dates because of that. Um, on top of that, in the beginning, all the restaurants were closed. Now they're open, which is fine. However, you know, things are opening up here and there. However, it's really not the same. It's not the same. Like even me going back to gym, like I have to wear a mask now while dancing. Like who the fuck wants to exercise while wearing mask? Like it's not working for me and I simply not going to do it or not going to exercise at that facility because I'm like forced to follow these guidelines, right? Because like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. That's not fun or, or like really healthy at this point to be wearing masks while like trying to exercise or dance. So, so that makes me so frustrated and like, I'm almost like, I want to go back and I want to do these things. Right. But I can't because they're, they're not the same. The classes have been cut off. Like, and so I, I don't know what it is, but like, I was very, very, like I, I was mentally was perfectly okay with like, you know, was on top of figuring out how to navigate the situation. But somehow, like, I don't know what it is. It has hit me yesterday. Like, and I, and, and I, I don't know why I have let myself get into such a deep sadness um, yesterday that I felt so, like, lonely, right? I felt so alone and, like, I, I want to do all these fun things and I want to go back to, like, 
doing fun dates with my husband um you know and i have to like just scheduling wise navigate that right um and i want to go back and like dance and 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 that's so it's so not the same and it's so not fun anymore in the way they want us to do it and so um i i was eight, like i i got so sad and so i felt so kind of like i'm so tired of um you know what's going on and i'm i felt like i'm needing um an outlet to refocus like you know it's been work 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 and and all of my energy but but if i only focus on that aspect of my life i'm feeling so drained because there is no other outlet to recharge that outlet right all of that interconnect like i need to recharge my soul in order to be able to go and like deal with you know things that come up the the challenges that come up certain like i have you know it's it's not a fun thing to be figuring out out right so in order to have motivation to stay on top of that and feel fulfilled and feel like I'm doing something important in this life and for women and who are getting the transformation I need to recharge my um, cup right to refill my cup and so but the source to refill my cup the way I used to be doing it has been cut off or has been modified and uh, finding like a better solution is challenging and so somehow I got I was I was in such a deep sadness yesterday I was like what's the you know how how do I get myself out of this darkness right um, I literally could not um, lift myself up and, and normally I would but I don't know what happened like maybe new moon new moon um, I don't know maybe I'm being affected by like the whole new moon I also started um, high priestess training um, kind of like all of that energetically maybe affecting me all together how and like I want to be in this kind of like more of a spiritual kind of realm where like reality is a little bit more um, harsh at this stage right so maybe that is part of why I'm struggling to kind of get back into um, you know uh, kind of like more of a structured manner of living um, but what I have realized yesterday is that one way for me to really start recharging that cup is to have um, a source for creativity, the creative project that I've been longing and, and desiring for so long. You know, when I started photography, I started it from a place of I really want to create um, with photography. I wanted to create art because I was an artist before and interior designer and like, um, you know, I had all of these strikes in me and photography somehow came to me together and like with the makeup and the set and like the whole transformation aspect, all of that came together. And what I really, um, when I started, I started um, from a place of how can I create uh, fun conceptual artwork out of this right um, and and I started doing all these creative projects just because just because they were refilling my soul but since uh, there was so much effort and time was being put into this it it had to grow into business and when it had to grow into business the creative aspect goes away or becomes kind of like become so uh, mundane I guess that you lose that spark or that passion about it um, that initially made you want to go into that and so a lot of us photographers who are been doing this for years are at a stage where like okay you know it used to be fulfilling but now something else and it's normal to grow and it's normal to have different desires um, and it's normal to have like new interests come up where you want to transition it's very very normal however for me I was really missing it that creative aspect of 
you know, photography? How do I create a storyline? How do you like I create the conceptual element to it? How do I, um, you know, re-spark my, um, you know, passion just like, you know, in life with these creative projects, right? And so it has put me on a, um, on a path of thinking, you know, I really been wanting to do it. I feel like now is the time. So I've actually came up with uh, maybe like a membership program that actually nobody is doing so I'm kind of like very interested interested in learning once I launch that will it take off and and would you women be interested in doing like a photo session membership with creative aspect right um, doesn't have to be boudoir so um, I had all, all of these ideas that came to my mind and you know to be able to recharge that that you know spark that that you know and 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 social element too because social elements so of so many of us women are so isolated we have been isolated before when when especially if you're a mother you are so stuck in that role of a mother and you you attend to your kids and lot, that's why lots of women come to me um to be photographed is because they feel like they have lost themselves they've been all about attending to the kids and doing their schedules and and taking care of them and then the husband and then the house and then the dishes and then like there's no time there's no time to like even think about what is it that I need like do I need a break right now do I need to like get a glass of wine like lock myself in a um, bathroom and like just have my own hour to myself so I can like really reset what it is it what is it that I'm missing like something is missing right I'm um, not talking about like girlfriends right um, and I'll, I'll be honest with you I'm not so much the motherly type I have um, a child and I feel guilty for most of the time that why am I not like the proper mother, right? The proper, like there is a proper mother, like what? And I feel like all of us struggle um, with like being a good mother, right? Like we always feel like we are not good mothers. And I struggle in my own way because like I want to embody, um, you know, the sexiness. I want to have like, I want to be more of a sexy woman than, than a mother itself, right? And so I struggle maybe I'm like do giving too much attention to um, nurturing that sexual side of me where my mother's side is not getting enough attention and where I feel like I'm not giving enough of my love to my child and so that is where my guilt is coming from right and so um, however, I know that if I don't nourish this side of me, um, I wouldn't, I would struggle. I would feel depressed. I would f lose myself. That is so important for me to stand up. And on top of it, I see all of you ladies, all of my businesses that I'm starting and launching and like all of that is part of my life's mission. And without it, I can't function. I don't, I wouldn't feel fulfilled. Um, and all of that is my my baby like my my all of that is my baby so like I have the actual human baby who is now um, you know seven years old and um, I have uh, you know my business baby which is also baby and requires a lot of my attention right so um, and and choosing between the two and like all of that guilt is coming up right and so with that like being a mother being like a business owner and if you are in this situation you feel very isolated you feel very isolated um, you might have girlfriends or you might not and and you might feel like you're alone in this world and so many business owners are I keep hearing are struggling with um, mental uh, illnesses or mental parts like that that they can't reconcile um, they feel so lonely and so alone in this and there's just so much that you have to deal with when you have business or or being a parent like there's just so much that you have to navigate and nobody teaches you how you have to figure out and if you don't have like very strong spiritual structure it's really hard to navigate that 
right? And um, so many of us uh, mothers, entrepreneurs, um, feel alone and just, just, you know, feel alone and overwhelmed and overworked and overstressed, right? And so um, the desire to dress up and look nice and feel sexy, like where's that gonna come from if you don't have the space for it, right? And, and how do you maintain if you are fully overextended in your role of a mother, how do you have space to dress up and even wanting to do something nice for yourself, right? And then on top of that, you have the whole COVID situation where you, even if you do have desire, like once in, in a lifetime, you know, like you feel like, oh my God, you know, I don't know what it is about me, but I want to feel uh, like sexy. I want to do something for myself, which happens very rarely for a lot of women, right? You have nowhere to even go, right? And so that does not help, right? But the importance of um, you as a woman and you as a woman in a relationship is, you know, once you are old well not old I wouldn't say old right like <laughs> by the way we never get old it's just like we don't know what happens right there was this really cool quote uh from uh Deepak Chopper the other day uh I feel like how did it go oh my god it was something about like you always stay young and then like you look in a mirror and and you just wonder what the hell happened <laughs> something in that sense right um but what I mean by um you know you you once you are once you're at a stage when your kids are older where like what what's what's gonna let like once your kids go to college what will be there will you be there will your partner be there and if you don't nourish that side of your relationship your partner will not be there with you right so you really need to focus on on maintaining your individuality and maintaining that sacredness between you and your partner because if you put all of your attention onto kids um, there will be no couple there will be mother and dad but there will be uh, you know there will not be him and her right and that is something we so much crave right and so in order and we think oh dating is hard and like you know having this desire when you meet someone you know like you have to put an effort into going like looking nice going out on a date to like attract that person right and we think oh once we are married or once we live together you don't need to put effort but in reality you have to put even more effort into maintaining that fire because unfortunately once we start knowing everything about each other as a couple that fire goes away and it's not no longer um, like in, it inspires you to for a desire for that person right you start thinking like oh is there someone else out there who is better, you know, or you start fantasizing, which is super important. Don't ever stop fantasizing. But um, what I'm saying is in order to maintain that fire in the existing relationship with the same person, you have to put even more effort into organizing, um, creating the space for that fire to be there in the first place, right? Um, the fire can be brought back in, but you have to, um, and it doesn't have, actually it doesn't have to be you, one of you, either your partner or you needs to be the person who is taking care of the kids and the other person creates the space for the re the couple, the relationship and the rituals and, and the habits. So the habits of actually dressing up and going out on a date are so Super important because they gonna make you feel like you're valid they're gonna make you feel like you're an important part of you know you, you they're gonna make you feel like you are not a mother but you are actually a woman and a lover and a partner in this two-way dynamic between him and I where kids don't like don't ever talk about kids when you're on a date don't that's not the place to talk about kids the place to talk about kids is possibly during you know when you're at home you know you are like almost too you know you want to have your two different personalities i guess they um uh, what's the word 
um, what's the word? Identities. I'm going to call it identities because you have your mother identity and then you have your, um, I'm going to call it goddess identity, the, the identity of an erotic, beautiful woman right that you don't want to lose and you want to keep her so many women come to do a boudoir session they are able to access that identity that was always there and some of them learning who she is for the first time which is absolutely wonderful um however how do you keep her in right you walk away from your boudoir session then what and it's wonderful that you have, you know, an album and, and photos and, you know, it's wonderful that you have that to be able to remember that she's there. But how do you keep the fire on every day, right? How do you keep the desire every day to be that woman and like really transition from the roles of a mother to, um, you know, wanting to be the erotic woman, right? And so um, having the, the time where you nourish that is so important and the time where you dress up is so important and the time that will feed that erotic woman within you is extremely important and that will help you to not just be in that mindset oh I'm gonna have to like do 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 this and this and this and bills to pay like sex doesn't live in a place where you have to pay bills right you have to keep that other space for it open and you have to have that other container open for it where you can always recharge and bring it back and 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 indulge in it right so um and you know i started talking about how um lots of women don't have an opportunity to dress up or feel feminine but that is the reason that is because we don't create that opportunity, right? Does it make sense? Like we don't, we think that this is not important and nobody ever told us that we need to have that. And so we are kind of living with the flow instead of creating the flow, right? Does it make sense? Um, and in order for you to be able to, um, you know, have opportunities to dress up, you it's on you to find places and events that you can go that you can dress up arrange date nights out of you know maybe spontaneous um, situations um like um i am having today um, my husband had a dentist appointment so he actually didn't go to work and uh you know with me being in my weird mood from yesterday i decided i really need to replenish in that sense instead of going back to my to-do list and um, we just decided why, you know, we, you'll go to your dentist appointment, um, we'll do a date, like a date date lunch together and then we'll do something fun together and like you know reconnect as a couple because we haven't had opportunities to do that um normally this is something that does not happen but we made it happen and despite the fact that he has so much on his to-do list um we're still making it happen and we prioritizing ourselves um as a couple so it is so important to not forget about the other identity, right? It's so important to nourish that identity. And and my next, um, my next thing would be where? How do I create space for you know this feminine relationship, right? Like this feminine. Um, container that's going to replenish the other side um, of the life that I feel like I might be missing, right? So, um, you know, you don't have the events. How do I create? Like I was thinking, I really want to have these sexy dance nights, right? Um, but the places that I know of, um, they either do it really late that it doesn't make sense for me to even stay there where I would have to travel home for like I, and I live an hour and 10 minutes away from that place um, at 12 p a.m. right no not gonna work um, another thing is like I'm not happy that routine is a little bit more complex I'm, I'm having struggle like so, so how do I organize something like this right how do I organize sexy dances with um, girls who are are into the same things right how do I like so so I'm taking this as almost my responsibility right instead of blaming it on the COVID and the 
gyms requiring a mask where you like can't even exercise like I'm boycotting things that I'm not okay with and that's my way of doing life because I stand for what I believe in and you know I don't want to um, you know suffocate while I'm exercising that's not enjoyable for me and why would I even pay money to go into a place right to like so uh, instead of going into a rent and blaming you know the the reality the COVID the people like whoever like your the place where you live uh you know I have this one girl she hates where she lives like she's like I there's nothing here to do and I'm like so obsessed because I've traveled and I've seen and I'm like so um inspired by the people beauty of the Outer Banks and it's so gorgeous to me and so pristine and divine and um, she complains that you know there's nothing to do there is no good people either like all all that things that we keep telling ourselves in the negative manner that like we're not enough we're not in the right place um, there's not enough people there's not enough like places or like all of that we create with our own mind instead of thinking how can I be the change right what can I do to uh, first fulfill myself like I want to do these dances how do I do it like I need a space right so uh, you know it will come to me eventually and maybe not in the manner of how I originally thought it would and that's okay as long as I'm open to for it to come into my life I'll figure it out right so so I'm gonna leave you off with this idea that it is so important for you to create space for the things that you want yourself right instead of blaming this and that and um, create a set of rituals right around this so you are the, so it's part of your life so it's an ongoing basis it's not one time thing right C creating a set of rituals will help you um transition between these um you know identities identity of a mother and identity of erotic woman there's whole but whole other identities that are out there business woman whatnot we are we are women we are so multi not multitaskers but multi identities because of the all the hats that we have to wear mother wife um you know sexy woman we somehow have to match up with our beauty like there's so much more standards and pressure on us women to be beautiful right so there's just so much that we feel overwhelmed and we feel um like we are not enough or we feel like we're not doing the job right right like the job of being a woman right what who created the job so uh you know and uh, uh and uh, as i was sharing with you earlier in this video um you know being a mother not feeling um good for you know like not doing the job of a mother perfectly well and i feel like there is not even not even a rule to what perfect is, right? What is perfect? What is perfect? I feel like we all create our own life and flow, right? And there's really no perfect almost, right? So um, thank you so much for joining in with me on this kind of philosophical um morning um you know actually it's afternoon already um you know philosophical moment that um all of a sudden i have felt inspired to share with you um i hope this has been helpful um please uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts and your ideas and share with me what it is that you are struggling with and what part of identity you want to bring into your life and and um i can't wait to speak to you soon. Mwah.